I have a beautiful daughter named Aurora, my husband David, and we rented a house in LaGrange, and I kept seeing this group of guys going in and out. I just felt like I wanted to meet them. We made some cookies and just marched on over there <laughs> and introduced ourselves. And that's when we met these wonderful neighbors, Ronnie and Chuck and Jimmy, Eric, Warren, Scott. They're authentic individuals, kind-hearted, good people, and we have real conversations. It's real and it's genuine and it's, it's meaningful. We were neighbors for a little over a year and I was uh, out running errands one day and my phone rang and Stephanie was like, well, I have some news for you. We're moving. They moved and there was definitely an emptiness. Uh, it was a hard adjustment, probably more for us. <laughs> um, but when you love people, you keep in touch with them. And um, it hasn't been a hard thing to do. My gut was like, I just got to be doing more. I briefly was on the board of directors. I contacted Chris and said, you know, what would you think if I wanted to do contract work with Cedar Lake? And of course, he was awesome about it. Cedar Lake is like this chosen family to me, and that means the world. My first connection with Cedar Lake was when I had just finished my freshman year in college and I was a camp counselor at Cedar Lake and it was awesome. I've always had a heart for people who maybe didn't feel included. I think really from that camp experience I learned that I just felt so, so comfortable with people with intellectual disabilities. I don't know why that is. It's just, you know, the way God created me, I suppose. So yeah, Bill and I connected and he's an only child and I am too. So we sort of call ourselves brothers and sisters. And Melanie, I first met 30 years ago when she volunteered at um, Christian Health Center where my husband worked and she would write poems and send them home with Keith. And so I really only knew Melanie because she was a poet and I read her poems. And then her friend Bill um, mentioned, hey, my girlfriend's moving to LaGrange. And I said, oh, who is that? He said, Melanie. And I went, wait a minute, are you serious? So yeah, we reconnected and just have been you know, buddies ever since. So we do stuff together. We shop and go out to breakfast. We do Dairy Queen breakfast quite often, Bill and Melanie and I. We do Bible study. It's mostly about the fellowship though, I would say. I mean, why wouldn't you hang out with somebody that you like being with, you know? And I just like being with these folks and we all just enjoy each other's company and have a great time. She's just a great person. You, you know, she just, you can't ask for anybody better. She, helps everybody at Cedar Lake. She's a hero, all right. She's definitely a hero to me and others that work with her, I'm sure. It only takes a hi, how are you, a handshake, um, to know that they're cared for.